Okay, now that's the normal. I'll just take my Crocs off, as you do. Get into the, the boots. Hopefully, they were a bit, um, they were a bit pongy from the other day. <laughs> Stacking the car out a bit um, from the other day, but you know what can you do? You know, you can't go be buying multiple uh, pairs of. Um, Boots these days are just too expensive and they don't last as long, you know. They uh, barely last a year, sort of thing. Yeah, just checking out my keys before I lock the car door. And I'm on uh, night scene foliage normal at the moment, so you probably won't focus in on any too much detail. And uh, yeah, see, so here we go. Now, this time I think I'm just going to follow the fence line along carefully and uh, so I don't do too much. I've had two coffees this morning so I've got plenty of fluid within me so, you know, and, and we're not, and the weather's coming in sort of thing so it's, no, it's not going to be, a, it's, it's not a super hot day, you know, it's going to be like 17, 19 degrees so, you know, I'm not going to be killing myself. And I'm hoping it's just going to be like a, it's probably going to turn out to be a short look-see recce sort of thing today. I don't expect to find, uh, well, first of all, we've got to get the coral fern. Is it coral fern or is it bracken? It's more likely to be coral fern, as I said before, because we do know that coral fern does actually grow down there. That's what we checked out last year. It was just, but it's just so dense. If there is any banana growing there, you're not going to find it until the area has a jolly good rubby burns. Rubby burns. So. So, uh, and as you can see, the bracken is beginning to die down. Oh, it's getting really cool. Really cool. You know, like that, like we've had those cool changes up uh, the Mount Bold way. Just came through like there. So, you know, that's starting to spit with rain too. Uh, so after having put my clobber on, I'm probably going to get soaked. Oh well, what the heck. Interesting. Uh, uh, but of course it's not going to focus because I'm not... Uh, oh, some of all these orchids, darker ones. But I'm not on the... I'm more on the macro setting, so you know. I don't know if I go through here. I don't want to uh, make the natives restless. And, uh, looks like some kangaroos had a bit of a rut down there or something. So we'll see how we go. Oh, that one looked like it flowered last season. That one, yeah. I better not hold the camera up, we'll get specks on the, uh... and I don't think I've even cleaned the camera lens. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Oh, lichen, rather nice. Yeah, you can see the soils, you know, basically dried out. So, uh, looks like there's a little bit of a path here that someone's been using. So we might as well make use of that. It gets us to our goal faster without going through too much hassle. Without losing my hat. Oh, look at that. Wow, look at the, Oh, the rain's coming. Ah. Oh, kangaroo too. Bounding off. And here comes the rain, fellas. I think that is rain. It's not... Yeah, you can see it drifting along there. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, yeah, it's drifting. You might be able to because I'm on normal, aren't I? So it should be able to get the distance shot. But we're on wide angles, though. It's just probably miles in the distance. 
So it's good to know that you can get rain like that up here this time of year. So, but I did notice with that Google map there's like a rain shadow on this side, but then you've got the swamp. So, uh, I, I, I couldn't work out last year whether the, the stream that was flowing is actually just a, a, a river or it comes from an actual um, a very large seep or it's an actual spring or something. Um, yeah, but to actually have the coal from there does imply you got a permanent water supply. You know, that the creek doesn't even dry out sort of thing. So, oh well, you got all the, all the coloured flowers anyway. You got the purple, the yellow, the orange, the white of the... Um, yeah, you even got some in, Epacris Impressor hanging on. Oh wow, yes. Have you what? Well there you go. Pity I'm on, I'm not on macro. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, you can compare this footage to the, uh, the hot times we had last year. Ooh. Bashing our way through the sort of yeah, Maybe it's best to go down here. Might get some interesting sights. <laughs> as long as you're below head height, no, no, no one's the wiser sort of thing. Keep your voice down low, sort of your voice down low, Richard. You've got to be kidding, mate. Eh? I don't think you've ever done that in your life. I think you kept your head down. I mean, you'd be the first to go if you ever went to Gallipoli. <laughs> Sniper would take you out enough. Oh, here we go. We've got some uh, a dying uh, auriculata. Yeah, auriculata. Uh, so there you go. You can see the, the moss there has gone into dormancy. And we're working on our way through because I want to get to the end of this sort of big long track that I have and then from there I turn right rather than going along the, the ridge line like we did last year and coming on to the swamp right at the end I'm going to go to the end there and go veer off to the right this time and go down the hill to this rather large meandering swamp to the right which looks like it contains similar vegetation it looks like we've got some sort of flower coming out. Probably those ones with the nice yellow flowers. I mean, we could actually go, oh, it's so cold, it's getting so cool now. It's amazing. Oh, we're coming to those, uh, remember these concrete posts we were talking about before? So, uh, yeah. We've been going for so long, I think we're getting near to the end of the track. So I think, I think, yeah, I think it's turning around there, so it's time to start a new clip, I think. Okay, over and out for now. <laughs> 